How's it Jack Jacktackers, and welcome back to another video for you guys. Today I'm going to be doing my review for The Walking Dead Season 9, Episode 15. Wow, there is uh, a lot to get into here. This was a crazy, crazy episode. But first, remember, if you guys are new, make sure to check out my social media and vlogging channel down in the description below. And without further ado, let's get into this. Okay, you guys, so this episode was crazy, and right off the bat, I'm just going to say major spoiler warning here. So if you have not seen the episode, leave, because you do not want to get spoiled for this. There is <coughs> a lot that happens in this episode, um, and a lot of deaths, um, which I'll get into here, obviously. But right off the bat as well, I do want to say this might be my favorite episode of the season. Not ever, but favorite episode of the season for sure. Um... Maybe Rick's episode, like, where he leaves, that may be a bit better. I don't know, though. This episode was crazy. Really well directed as well. I, I forget who directed this episode, but I believe it was their first time directing. Um, I forget who it is, so I apologize. But, um, yeah, they did a really nice job directing. And I feel like this this was just very epic and dark, this episode. And it really just was well put together, in my opinion. Um, but basically... I'm going to just get into the Pike deaths here because we've been waiting for this for a while. I just want to talk about them and how epic of a scene this was. I mean, it was just so crazy. The music was like really just like over the top and just like crazy. And this really was like the Red Wedding of um, Walking Dead. And it, it, man, it was so crazy and so unexpected, some of these deaths. So the total deaths, death count, I should say, um... 10 people died, and I don't remember how many people died in the comics, I'm sure it's probably around 10, um, but yeah, so basically, off the top of my head, I might not go in order, but I'll try to, two Highwaymen members die, the leader, um, which I forget his name, and then his friend, who we saw earlier in this episode, which I also forget his name, but he's a Highwayman member, and then next we see DJ, who is the savior, who is working with them, um, and then I think next was one of Negan's wives, the red-haired one. I forget her name. And then I think next was Tammy. And then I think the next two were the kids, uh, Henry's friends, uh, which I also forget their names, but whatever. Um, they're the two kids, the girl with the glasses and then the other boy with the dark hair. Uh, and then the three major deaths. So if you guys are still watching this for some reason... These are the three major deaths. Enid, Tara, and Henry. I was not expecting any of them to die, really. I mean, I thought I, I thought Henry was pretty safe, to be honest. But, hey, I, I, I guess he wasn't. And Tara, uh, t t yeah, Tara, what am I saying? Um, I was not expecting her to die either. That was crazy, because she's been with us for a while like, since season four, so for her to finally die, I'm just, like, kind of in shock still, um, and then Enid, um, which I think Caitlin Nacon, the actress who plays her, moved to LA, like, about a month ago, so a lot of people were speculating that she probably died in the Pike scene, so, and she did, like, wow, this is crazy, but yeah, this Pike scene was great, it was really well put together, and to finally see it on screen, it was dark, it was scary, it was intense, this whole episode, since I, like, I knew the Pike scene was going to happen, like, everyone speculated it, everyone was like, the Pike scene from the comics, it's finally happening, it's going to be in the night's episode, it's gonna happen, and this whole episode, I was so intense, and I feel like maybe this episode will lose a little bit of rewatchability, just because you won't feel that, like, intense vibe when you rewatch it, but I don't know, you might still feel it, um, because I'll have to rewatch it, but knowing now that at the end of this episode, all the people die, it's just crazy, I mean, man, this was just intense, like, this whole episode, and it was really crazy, it was good to see the fair, um, as well, to see people happy before this dark moment at the end, um, another scene I do want to go over is, uh, when we see Alpha take Daryl over this uh, cliff to show this sea 
of zombies, which does happen in the comics with Rick and Alpha. So that was really cool to see because I was also expecting to see that scene, but it was just really cool to see all those zombies and to see that scene from the comics actually play out in the show. But yeah, dude, I mean, seeing Alpha sneak into the fair and trying to talk to Lydia and bring her back and all that, and that was also cool from the comics. This was very comic um, to show episode a lot of comic references and stuff and I mean there's just this was a great episode I mean I really it was so good like nine out of ten or in my opinion like man this was so intense and just really crazy man I also want to do point out at the end of this episode we do see snow um coming down so we are getting snow in the finale which I'll cover in my promo breakdown and predictions for next episode that'll be up tomorrow but, the, yeah, man, I, I don't really have much to say other than this episode was really great. Um, one of the best episodes of the season, maybe the best, I don't know, because I really like Rick's final episode. But I guess let me hear your thoughts on this video and this episode down in the comments below. And if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next one. Peace. Boop.